And the coach and uh, James talking about, you know, your level of play, your activity and confidence. Um, for you, it's a, it's a small sample size, but was there a, a turning point in this young season, whether it was a, your first game action, whether it was a, a, a dunk uh, or a defensive series where just kind of boosted your confidence, you know, that, that, that where you've been riding high right now? No, I wouldn't say so. It's just staying the course. Me getting out there, getting the feel for the game, getting the feel for where guys want to be, just being more comfortable. So I wouldn't say that there was a certain game or a certain play or anything like that. It's just me being out there and and just believing in myself. And at the end of the day, you know, cream rises to the top and talent always shows. And we see the, the trust continuing to grow between you and the coaching staff and your teammates. What, what has Coach Nash been, been telling you or communicating to you and others as well um, that they want to continue to see from you so that your minutes continue to grow and you can continue to finish games like you've been doing lately? Yeah, just being in the right spots, especially defensively. Everything on offense is going to take care of itself. It's a lot of things I need to tighten up, but defensively is really where I'm affecting the game the most right now. So just being in the right spots and um, helping out, helping out if, if guys need help and just being there and talking and just being a quarterback of the defense. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Nick. First game playing off of Blake for you. Just said, what, what worked with you two on the court together today? I mean, Blake, you know, he's an extremely high IQ. He has a lot of IQ and he's out there, of course. He's still trying to get his flow. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to take him a few games, I'm sure, but um, he's he can defend. He can he's active. He took a nice charge tonight, and offensively, his game is gonna he, he'll get back to where he needs to be. I'm sure. I'm sure. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. What uh, what did you guys do? You haven't forced tons of turnovers. What were you guys doing to turn them over as much as you did today? And can you just talk about also what you see going forward on the opportunities you get to play alongside Blake? Just being active, talking. Just trying to be passed defensively and using our voice. And um, I know at the beginning, in the first quarter, we were we scored a lot of points, but then we really tightened it up. And everybody just moving around, switching one through five. I think that's when we that's when we defend the best. So like, everybody just being on the same page. And it's still things that we can do better, of course. But, you know, us just being active, being out there, using our voices, it, it changes the game a lot defensively. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Nick, does, does it do anything for you to know or for you to know that your coach trusts you in late game situations? You know, I mean, I feel like you've gone from not really playing at all this year to kind of just working your way into the rotation. to now you're you're in the game when you're in the game when the game's on the line. Does, does that mean anything to you? Yeah, definitely. And all of this, this happened pretty fast. I feel like my first game I was playing was yesterday here at Barclays and everything is just coming along pretty fast. But. Um, I'm just staying grounded, staying level-headed, and, you know, whenever finish, closing out games, of course, is fun, um, but I just got to be ready for whatever whatever opportunity, whenever my name is called, I just got to be ready. That's my job, and I just got to continue to get better and continue to grow. Steve Lichtenstein with WFAN. Hi, Nick. Uh, the league is starting to see that you can, how well you can cover guard, so when you're isolated against a Westbrook or a Beal, two dynamic players, what goes through your mind? What are you trying to prevent most? I mean, deep down, I'm smiling because if teams want to continue to do that, and then they might get a couple of buckets, but I'm, I'm going to get more stops, than, definitely. So deep down, I'm just smiling. I'm ready. I, I know the scout report. I know what players want to do. I'm a huge basketball fan, so I've been watching all of these guys since I was since I was young. So just me being out there, using my IQ, using my, my footwork, guarding without fouling. It's fun, honestly. I wasn't able to switch one through five last year at all. So me being able to switch, I think that's huge. That's huge for us, especially if teams want to go at me directly. I mean, that's just taking away the flow from other players. And like I said, I might get scored on a couple of times, but for the most part, you know, I'm good. Jeff Bernstein with Associated Press. Thank you. Um, can you just talk the, you know, you guys – gave up a big lead it was close there at the end and you had those two big dunks off of feeds from Kyrie can you talk about those plays and basically how it makes you feel to be I guess one of the heroes of the game I mean it felt good when Kyrie passed me the ball honestly I guess I got to get used to that um I'm used to him shooting so 
It felt good when he passed me the ball. And it's just finishing is easy. It's going up, dunking, using my athleticism and knocking down free throws. It's just being locked in mentally, being ready, always just staying ready. And, you know, my name was called tonight and I was ready to go. Back to Christian Winfield with the Daily News. Hey, Nick, another one for you. Just how long does it take to build that type of lob pass chemistry with James? Is that something that clicked immediately or was that something that you guys put in a lot of time that, that is starting to now materialize? I mean, you've seen all the, all the time that we put in, you've seen it. We haven't done anything. We haven't practiced. It's all been it's all been out there on the court in games on the fly. And I'm still learning. I know today we had uh, we had some some discussions about where he wanted me to be. So you no, know, I'm still I'm still learning where I need to be. I'm still sharpening up a lot of things. But that that connection that we're building is is, is going to be special for sure. And you know I look forward to continuing to build that. Thanks so much, Nick. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Nick. Nick.